question 21. Here are four statements. For each statement, put a tick if it is possible, put a cross if it is impossible. And all four statements are about triangles. So let's take each statement in turn. A triangle can have two acute angles. Well, acute angles are less than 90 degrees. So if we can just find one example of a triangle with angles let two angles less than 90 degrees, we have shown it as possible. So let's draw a quick sketch, not to scale. What happens if we make these two a bit less than 90? Well, we could make them 80. Now, what would the final angle have to be? Well, a triangle needs to add up to 180 degrees. They must be, that must be the total of the angles in a triangle. So what would the third one need to be? So 80 plus 80 is 160. So this angle here would need to be 20. However, so it does work. However, it says in the statement two acute angles. And this actually has got three acute angles because they're all less than 90. So that one won't work for this statement. It is a possible triangle, but not for this statement because we need to only have two acute angles. So let's try again. What about if we make the acute angles quite small? For example, if we make them both 10 degrees. Well, if they make them both of these 10 degrees, 10 and 10 makes 20. So this one up here would have to be 160 degrees to make it up to 180. Now that is possible. If they add up to 180 and two of them are acute. This 160 is bigger than 90, so that's not acute, that's obtuse. These two are acute, so therefore we've found one example with two acute angles, so we can tick it. That isn't the only correct answer. There are others, but as I said, we only need one answer. Just to illustrate that there are others, we could have said 20 and 20. That makes 40, so this would have needed to be 140. That also has two acute angles, but we only need one example. Okay, next statement. A triangle can have two obtuse angles. Well, obtuse angles are bigger than 90. So, for example, 91 degrees, 92 degrees, 110 degrees, 150 degrees. Well, even if you go just a little bit bigger than 90, and make your two angles 91. Obviously, this isn't drawn to scale again. If you make those two 91, then those two together would make 182, which is already gone over 180 degrees, which we said we can't go over. They must total 180. Now, if those two make 182, we would have nothing left to be able to do the third angle. So we aren't going to be able to make a triangle with two obtuse angles and another angle on top because that is going to go way over 182 degrees. So that one is going to be impossible. Let's get a different colour for the third statement. A triangle can have two parallel sides. Well, parallel sides is the name given for sides or lines that are not going towards each other, that are not going away from each other, that are the same distance apart all the way along. Now, with a triangle, you can see that all three sides go towards each other. So these two sides go towards each other, these two sides go towards each other, these two sides go towards each other. And not only do they go towards each other, but they also meet. These two sides meet, these two sides meet, and these two sides meet. Parallel sides can't ever meet. So that's worth writing to. Parallel sides can't ever meet. So it is going to be impossible for a triangle to have two parallel sides which don't meet. That's going to be impossible. Final statement says a triangle can have two perpendicular sides. Now, perpendicular is a posh word for two lines which are at right angles to each other. So, what this one is asking is can we have a triangle with two sides that are at right angles to each other? And this one's an easy yes, we can. 
All you've got to do to prove that one is to draw your right angle first. There are the two perpendicular sides. And then your third side, just join it up. So that one is just talking about a right angle triangle. 